Well, I'm in Lim in Cheshire and the forecast is, my, is going to be 4 degrees Celsius tonight. So for the first time this year, the stove is on the go and the heat fan has just started. This is the Preston Brook Tunnel. As you can see, it's a narrow tunnel, so there's no passing boats in this one, like most tunnels on the network. So, going south, I could only enter between half past the hour and 20 minutes to two. And there's a similar no notice at the other end, giving the times when boats can come northwards. So just by good fortune I arrived two minutes after half past so I was able to go straight in. It, it is 1237 yards I believe, if my memory serves me right, it's about 1200 metres. So uh, it won't take us too long to get through, but it's the first tunnel I've done for quite a while come to think of it. In fact, this marks the boundary. We are now on the Trent and Mersey Canal and we've left the Bridgewater. So we're back on the Canal and River Trust managed network. I don't know much about this tunnel. I don't know when it was built or anything like that. So uh, we'll just chug on through. busy for a while there because the tunnel because it's only narrow there's only a 10 minute slot in the hour in each direction so I got in just after half past the hour came through and there was a boat waiting to go in the tunnel and then there's a small stop lock which only has a rise of about six or nine inches but there was a boat waiting to come through it and they also wanted to go through the tunnel and they don't want to wait another hour so we had a bit of a rush to get them through so that they would catch their slot at least the tunnel is straight so you can tell when you enter if there's someone coming the other way not like so many tunnels that that have uh, bends in them so um, now it's just a matter of 
cruising on until until I get fed up and then I'll stop uh, and next stop for, of any significance will be Middlewich so let's just cruise on a bit well I've decided to stop for this evening because I came along here and I noticed there's these very useful metal rings all the way along that I can tie up to and so now Flan is doing his usual thing of exploring our new surroundings. There's a gaggle of ducks down there making a fair bit of noise um, and one of the reasons I stopped here is because it's obviously a popular spot. There's quite a few boats here and I'm in good time to get to Middlewich so we're in no hurry. So if you can just stop eating the grass flan and yes ignore the ducks they'll ignore you. So it's about 20 to 6 in the evening so I think as always at these times I'm going to go put the kettle on sit down with a cup of tea and I'm sure when Flan's finished out here he'll join me. Right that's another short day's cruising done. <laughs>